Hi Libra, so this video applies to anyone that has their sun, their moon, or ascendant in the sign of Libra. So let's begin this month by saying you're really curious this month, Libra, and you really want to be meeting more people. You want to really put that energy out there for you to meet someone new if you're looking for that. And you're really, really excited about just really letting you um, be more exposed um, this month, the real you really. You have a new moon in your fifth house on the 8th. So the things that you love and you and that you value, the things that you love creating, um, the relationship that you have with your children, your 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 love life, your dating life, um, all of those things. How are you trying to make those things different, or how can you set intentions on this new moon to really go about looking at those things different? That's a really good energy for you to look at changing different ways that you initiate things in the things that you love, or the people that you love, or the children that you love, or your children in general. On the 13th, we have Mercury, the planet of communication, is going to be moving into the, your fifth house as well. So you're going to be communicating more with children, your children, your lover, or interests, things that you love to do. Like, what are things that you love to create or just enjoy doing that makes your heart feel good? You're going to want to communicate that. And on that day, Mars, the planet of action, is going to be having a conversation, a sextile with Jupiter. This is optimism. This is a lot of joy. This is a lot of physical energy, too. So you're going to want to work that out. You're really going to want to, um, you really want to, if you, if you, if you're, if you like to exercise, this is a really good time to let a lot of physical energy out. You're expanding your mind and you're really um you're really going at it. You you really want to concentrate on that what makes you happy. And if that's your children that that's a wonderful thing. If that's your creative energy, that's a wonderful thing as well. If that's just, you know, sitting and just relaxing, that's cool too, but you're enjoying you um this month. And the and the things that you love on the 19th, the sun moves into your 6th house of health and work your daily routine so this would be a really good time for um some of you libras to set a doctor's appointment to um to go and do a physical um to also um check on how you're eating how is your digestion how is your eating habits how are your your daily habits and patterns really affecting what's going on in your life so you're going to be really focusing on that as well because if you're going to want to enjoy the things that you love you're going to be looking at your health and your working patterns to see how you can navigate and make things kind of work around things so that you can have more time to do with you what you what you need to do and what you want to do so then we have on the 22nd, a full moon is going to be happening for you, Libra, in your 12th house of undoing. It's going to be like a lightning strikes and it's just going to be like, oh my goodness, I understand why this is going on. Because also to that, on that same day that we're having a full moon in your 12th house of undoing, Mars is going to be squaring the moon that day. So how is it that something with your money, your values and something about how you cope with things, it's... It's kind of, um, you need to kind of recheck that, see how that's going there because it's, it's causing some type of tension. Now, this is really good energy, I would say, on this day to have, if you have any type of physical aggression to work it out, any type of sexual energy that you would like to protrude out there into the universe, this would be a really good day for that. Or just a good day to be physical, to be active, you know, because it's going to be a very, uh, sexual, emotional energy, um, about what you need to protect and it's all about that fierceness around that time so but also to you want to change that you want to change that you're finding out um, different things that are not working so this is going to be a really good time really good enlightenment month for you to really do what you want and set intentions on making changes so that you can navigate your time to get more of that energy for yourself this month um, Libra, I'm so happy for that. I'm so happy for that. So again, Libra, I'll see you next month. Comment, share, like, um, and write comments down there. I want to see how your month goes, you know? So again, I'll see you next month, Libra.